And what led to your burnout? I mean, if you were playing multiple sports up until senior year, like, was it just the grind of playing D1? Was it you were exhausted? For for me, the burnout was more along the lines of, you know, uh, the bad attitude part. It was like, Mm -hmm. I'm not playing, so why should I give all of this effort? Like, I really don't, you know, I started to lose my love for basketball. You know, there'd always been this reciprocal relationship with the game where, I work really hard and I'm rewarded by playing. I work really hard. I'm rewarded by playing. And now it's like, well, I'm working, but I ain't playing. So you know what? Yeah. I don't even feel like doing the working <laughs> part. And, and again, I say all of this with a smile because I realized that everything that I said and did back then is 180 degrees from what it is that I wholeheartedly believe now and what it is that I preach and teach both on stage and on page. Uh, but that's just where I was. And I, it also gives me tremendous empathy um, for younger people, because, you know, when we're 18, 19, 20 years old, we, we often can be a bit hard headed. We often think we know more than we do, but it also gives me empathy for parents. Cause I certainly know my father tried to talk some sense into me and I just wasn't having it. I mean, I was, I was pretty hard headed back then. And, uh, you know, and I realized that I'm probably going to have to go through similar journeys with my own children and, and have to accept the fact that they might not want to listen to me uh, at some point and, and whatever wisdom I'm trying to bestow on them. And that's all part of the process. 